the results in processing of cactus fear and nopalitos in the young carotids. After 25 years researching on cactus fear, I really agree with the Sicilian journalist that has called it Obundia the treasure under the thorns. I think that uh, it is a real and a great <coughs> You know, in uh, other presentations, uh, some speakers have presented the similar slide. Uh, this is the world map, and we can see uh, the places where the cactus beer and oblitus are growing, and uh, could help to cover partially the nutrients requirements of the people living in those areas. How we uh, want to contribute to the growing and the, the development of cactus fear is uh, to a best cactus fear utilization from research, development, and innovation. And I uh, plus training, uh, because I think that training is the real tool to develop the cactus fear and novalitos uh, area. These photos are uh, a technical workshop from, for training little farmers in the central zone of Chile. We've done this workshop with my colleague Elena Sepulga, who is here. In Chile, there are more than 50% of our country are desert areas. These areas are located in the north of the country, where is the Atacama Desert one of the most arid regions of the world. And uh, if you can see, this is the region. This is Copiapo, where, where in the last uh, week uh, was uh, the rescue of the miners, the 33 miners mm -hmm. under the earth. In this lecture, I want to give you a glance about the book Industrial Possibilities on Cactus Fear, published in 2006 and translated to the English, and I hope soon available for all of you. Uh, now, the uh, Spanish version is available in the FAO website. I hope that in uh, a few years more, we can also have the translating French and in Arab, why not? The results of our research and that of many other groups are compiled in this book. The research covered the years 1985 and 2005, but the time go quickly and there are new researchers that are not included in the book and I will uh, speak now about some of them. This is the authors. <coughs> this picture that I uh, put again because I presented them in, in, in Brazil uh, was taken here in Morocco by my colleague and friend Enza Kessa, who offered me to put in the book. I thanks her generosity. The aim of the book is to give details of several technologies that can be used to process cactus beer and products for foods and for other uses. In this picture, uh, it seems that a big young ask us, what can I do with this fruit, not only for fresh fruit, also to process this fruit, to transform this fruit, to get other product from this fruit. And uh, if we <coughs> began to study the technologies, the food technologies, we need to first to know uh, the, what, what is the raw material, the raw material knowledge, the chemical composition, the technological characteristics, and the biotic compounds are aspects very important first to uh, go to the technologies that we can apply. This is some uh, results about uh, our cactus 
appear in Chile from green pulp, purple, and orange. And here is the fiber, but not that the dietary fiber. The dietary fiber is a, a whole, this is only a part. Here is the vitamin C. Uh, I saw uh, the other day that uh, in Egypt is uh, higher than that in Opuntia macrovisa. Here is the beta lines. This is a uh, pigment that I will talk about in a moment. This is a, a table taken from uh, the book of uh, Eulogio Pimienta. <coughs> from Lopez, 1975. Here's the fiber content. If you see when the age increase, the fiber increase, the lignin and the cellulose increase, and it's important also for the health benefit of the fiber. This component, the part of the dietary fiber. What are the technological characteristics we need to know before to uh, begin with the technologies or the treatment of well, the main are pH, color, acidic, texture, and bricks that are total sugar. And there are some of the <coughs> change that uh, the technological characteristics could change with the uh, heat treatments. Uh, they change the sensory quality of the foods, the functional components also. The harvest maturity is an important point, uh, mainly for the um, colored cactus beer and the taste. We have bioactive compounds that uh, Dr. Nazareno talked last day in, uh, in the fruits and in the carrots, pigments, beta line carotenoids with antitoxin activity, polyphenols, ascorbic acid, dietary fiber, main inclados, that are hydrocolored. Mucilac is one of the compounds of the dietary fiber, is a part of the soluble fiber, but also polyphenols, and extracts with potential using medicine from flower that we saw the other day. <coughs> Processing technology. One of the first chapters of the book covered the uh, post-harvest technologies, not my expertise, then I will uh, talk about uh, only one aspect of, uh, of post-harvest, that is uh, uh, besides really the post-harvest traditional technologies. This is uh, minimal processing, commonly known as fresh cut fruits and vegetables that consists in a minimal number of unit operation, wash, peel, cut of the fruit, in this case of the nopalitos, packaging and storage at low temperatures. What are the keys to success with these uh, technologies? The hygiene, the cold atmosphere in all the chain of preparation, and a packet permeability uh, that maintain a low content of CO2 or to preserve the These are one of our uh, trials, fresh cut fruits and vegetables. Uh, we, we, we try and we tested many forms. We cut and half and orange slides. And uh, uh, really the best was uh, the whole fruit, peeled and packaged only. Uh, if not, the fruit is uh, real great, and the mucilax is uh, for other things. This is uh, a photo that uh, was taken by uh, Armida Rodriguez from Hermosillo, Sonora. Uh, and this is also in Hermosillo, a uh, little packaging, uh, preparing uh, carrots, fresh cut. The cactus beer and the cactus must be maintained and in refrigeration and, and the shelf storage could be seven and or fourteen days, not more than this. I see pair now, now uh, the technologies that can be applied to the cactus beer nepalitos in in some uh, uh, 
factors. And one of them is the first is the technology based on the reduction of the water activity. As, uh, as many of you know, water activity is a major of the water available for microorganisms, growth, chemical reaction, and so on. And uh, there is the base of some technologies very known for <coughs> by the food technologies as drying, evaporation, and freezing. Drying and evaporation lose the water of the product, and freezing conserve the, the water but change the state of the water. <coughs> These technologies are used use different equipments and flow chip process and uh, uh, have a different uh, cost also. Freezing is the, the uh, higher cost and drying, we can do drying with solar energy and uh, it's uh, We can dry cactus beer, coal, with, or for pieces in solar drying, coal, as with leathers or bars, and also young carrots, no palitos and major calorots for two or three years. This is a solar dryer. There are many uh, destinies for rural areas. This is one of them. It's very uh, simple. This is a solar collector. A solar collector. There's a filter for the for the air. There are the trials with the bulk of the, of the fruits. Uh, the air can by here, and, and this is the uh, top of the <coughs> system. With my colleague, Elena Sepulveda, we developed several uh, dehydrated cactus beer bulk. And we use uh, apple and quince and other fruits and we make uh, some uh, some leathers or, or <coughs> and these are the characteristic of some of them. We prepare purple, green, and orange with apple, and uh, the energy is very high of these uh, leathers, and the uh, uh, moisture is uh, enough to preserve without a, a refrigeration. This is the process. Here we have uh, the oven. We have an, an, a little oven that we import from the United States. The fruit leaders and fruit bar are made with this uh, technology. We can see here. And are very attractive products for the children. This for with quins. And here are some, uh, some claims that appears in the label of the, these products in the market. Real fruit is one, the first. Only 100 calories, well, I don't know, only, but well. Healthy and convenient, because we can eat it directly. No sugar added, on, only the sugar uh, that uh, uh, contain the fruit gluten-free, and so on. This is made in the market from apricot and, or apple, or, but uh, they are not in the market uh, from cactus beer. And, and we think that it's a very interesting alternative. This is a cactus beer, apple, and flax seeds bar to improve the <coughs> antioxidant activity and, and the fiber also. And, and we have here the polyphenols from this bar, this 75 purple cactus beer, 25 apple, and sucrose and, and flax seeds, and this is high. And this bar, because of parts, several uh, sheets, one of one another. Carlos Brian, Monica Nazareno showed something of like this in her presentation. Uh, we prepare cactus powder using carrots, but old carrots from two or three years that are the, the best from, for the, from the pruning of the, of the plants. <coughs> this is the 
necessary fiber content of this uh, powder, <coughs> this high total dietary fiber is really interesting to use. And less content in young gladiators close to 20 percent. Yoka Gallardo has some papers about this. It's a Mexican research. We taste the food the, in, in some foods. Uh, the addition of normal powder and this is soup, soup or cream, a vegetable, this is good, this good. Uh, If you see here, the spoon takes all the soup, but because then you see like it's, it's a little problem to prepare uh, fluids, foods, liquid, liquid foods. And uh, the behavior of the, of the powder is better in, in solid foods, biscuits or other. We taste this also in, in plants, watermelon taste to, to mask some uh, taste, uh, herbaceous taste of the cactus powder. And we taste it 16, 18, 20, no more because the, the taste and the color change and it's not a pleasant for, for the panel, sensory panel. Then we can uh, summarize and we can say that 15 or 18 nopal, nopal flour then with other ingredients, a greater level of addition produces negative changes in color, aroma, and visual aspects in some products. Better results are in ripe or solid than in liquids. And now we are uh, trying to make a beverage with pineapple pulp uh, to uh, add to, to liquid foods some uh, dietary fiber. Nopal powder problems? Yes, we can, we can say yes. Then uh, uh, we prepare a purified nopal powder with less adversus aroma and less musical content. Recently in our lab, this research is not yet published. The first results show that the addition of nopal powder blended with wheat flour would be greater than 15 to prepare good biscuits. <coughs> the newly food prepared in Mexico are the typical tortillas with nopalitos added. These tortillas uh, are prepared with the uh, young nopalitos, with fresh nopalitos, not with the uh, powder. These are in the market. This uh, photograph, well, I received it from Teresa Arellano from Mexico for, for the book. What can I do? Thank you. <laughs> well, other technologies of modding the integration, we can get a candid or crystallized product from cactus beer fruit and from clarones. This is a picture from a product from France. The whole cactus beer is a candy. And this product is prepared by immersion in sucrose or glucose syrups with increasing concentration and a fire fry in an oven. These are some samples of our lab laboratory. And this is a candy carrots covered with bitter or sweet <coughs> chocolate. That it tastes uh, very good, really. Evaporation is another technology that we can uh, apply. Yesterday we saw some of this marmalade, syrup, and concentrate juice. Cactus beer, from cactus beer, or from carrots also. We prepared some uh, marmalades uh, many years ago, really, uh, using a uh, Clouds uh, or, and lemon peel and lemon juice and, and sugar also. And we have a, a, a very tasting uh, marmalade. Here's some photograph uh, from product from the market. <coughs> the first one are from the United States. This is from uh, uh, Santiago del Estero, this is from Mexico, this is from Nam Namibia, this uh, product uh, uh, gave me 
my friend Enrique Arias. This is the Piccadilly from Italy, and this is also from the United States. Beer cactus jelly, and this is also from the United States. We prepare some concentrate juice from purple cactus beer to be used as a colorant in foods. This is uh, the bio plant of our department. And now, um, recently, we developed, uh, with, in collaboration with the Faculty of Pharmacy of our university, toppings or sauces from colored cactus beer for desert with a in very interesting content of uh, polyphenols. And we serve like this. Um, this work was presented in Brazil and uh, published in an article in So the bioactive compounds of the purple cactus beer toppings and orange cactus beer toppings, the beta lines, as you see the purple is higher, and uh, beta cyanines, and beta cyanines are higher in the yellow or orange cactus beer. <coughs> Also, we developed some balsamic type vinegar from colored cactus beer. We begin with a concentrate and uh, we make a, a, a good vinegar. And the, the best was uh, from purple cactus beer and the uh, sensory panel uh, put a good uh, point to this. Freezing is another of the technologies that uh, use also the protection of weather activity to control micrograms and the cold to control the undesirable corrections and micrograms grow. And this is good to preserve the aroma, color, and taste. This is better than the evasion or evaporation, but the cost is higher. We taste, we think that it was one of the first uh, works we done. Uh, we tested the frozen cactus beer, half and slice, with and without peel in 1988. We, we use an IPF system, cold air at uh, less than 40 degrees Celsius. But uh, the main problem was miscellaneous drips and texture loss in all cases, in spite of using so low temperature. Uh, this is a not good uh, technology for cactus beer. But uh, freezing could be uh, better applied uh, for bulbs. We are not trying it again. But um, uh, for um, ice cream, could be a good alternative. This thermal treatment is another technology uses here and in other countries to prepare cactus beer juices and nopalitos. Uh, the, nopali the, the cactus beer we have has a pH higher than 4.5. Uh, the other day we, we saw that uh, in Egypt, Opuntia macrorisa has a less uh, pH, the advantage for the process and Opuntia chocolate also is uh, acid in Opuntia. One of the main problems to process uh, cactus beer as uh, juice is the peeling. And um, a group of the Hoheheim University has started some equipment to remove the peel and to obtain cactus beer juices. This is a press we have, this is a heat exchanger. There's some samples, but um, uh, this change a lot with the heat treatment, and it's not good really, the taste for us, at least. Uh, nopalitos in brine and pickle nopalitos are other technology developed in Mexico, and there are many products in the market there. Food additives that we can get also from colorants, I mentioned it, seeking agents from New Zealand. <coughs> the 
trends uh, now go from artificial diets to our natural colorants. And this makes cardiopyrochromycin source of water soluble beta lines. But um, we can uh, to, uh, extract beta line from the, from the fruits and, and also to, to choose the, the cactus beer with a higher content. Natural beta line from Abundia could replace artificial colorants used use actually in foods. With no need of a new classification, this is very important because it's the same compound of red beet that has been studied for years, but without her flavor and high nitrate concentration. If you see, we, we have uh, in the nature several colors, and we can use also the peel and the pulp to extract the, the colorant and to concentrate the colorant more in powder or this uh, study that we done in Chile uh, using 14 opuntias and we see here the betanine in the betanine in pill in pulp and the total and is <coughs> higher and is uh, something is different also in the pill we have here or we have here and uh, this uh, indicates that we can use peel also to prepare colorant. We make some tiles in our department and we get this type of uh, colorant with this characteristic. It's, it's a concentrate use really. It contains sugar and, and all the, the betanine is this 101 and the A and tone values. At the spear, if you mix with water, you can, this is the concentrate, and you, you can have a different color. The beta lines is good, it's, it's better than the anthocyanins. <coughs> but the stability of this uh, colorant is not so good. If you heat it, you, you can uh, lose the color, really. We, we use the, this colorant to prepare some model beverages and to storage in refrigeration for many days. And you can see here is the first day, and here is the 50 day, and the loss is clearly. <coughs> we use in yogurt, but we compare with a commercial beet colorant, and the betanine is five times done in the <coughs> colorant from cactus beer cultivated in Chile, and from uh, the colorant uh, made as a concentrate use. Betalanine is considered now a functional component. The, it's an activity, it's a plus for the use of cactus beer as colorant, and the <coughs> several paper published uh, by Butera, Galati, Q and other authors in the, in the world. To concentrate and, and to give more stability to the pigments, uh, we microcapsulate <coughs> pigments from purple cactus beer with a group of faculty of pharmacy of our university. And there are some papers uh, in uh, in Opuntia Jala, in Opuntia Sertacanta, and we published the, recently a, a paper about the microencapsulation. We use a pyrotechipum, belong to the Dr. Pass Robert in the Faculty of Pharmacy, and we spray dryer with a, some carriers, and we get a colorant in powder that we tasted in, in yogurt. Now we are beginning to purify the separation by membrane technologies in, in a joint project with the Faculty of Pharmacy and the Catholic University of Valparaíso in Valparaíso, Chile. This is the microfiltration module, the lab of Dr. Beatriz Cancino, and this is the initial, and this is the permeate when, when we can uh, extract and 
purify, we use the permeate or the, or the concentrate, and this concentrate could be uh, after microencapsulate and you don't have the sugars or the salts or other compounds and you have the betanin pure. These are thickening agents that we studied some years ago, the mucilac, that you know absorb and store large amounts of water in the plants and form viscous or gelatinous colloids when, when you get out and, and you can use it in, to prepare <clears throat> some foods as uh, nectar or like this. Uh, we published some techniques to purify and extract the water, the water extraction uh, or the mucilage extraction. And uh, when we precipitate uh, with ethanol, we saw that uh, the solubility changed. Then we need to prepare the mucilage without ethanol by pressing the parts or uh, by like fixation or some other techniques. We make a, a project with uh, Dr. Matsuhiro from the University of Santiago de Chile to see the, the, the structure. And this is a, some sugars in the mucilage, granulose, galactose, granulose, lose, and galactonic acid also. And the potential uses for this mucilage to increase food viscosity of beverages, to stabilize foam, foam, foams, to suitable fats and link aroma, to protect the gastric mucus is not for foods, but uh, are interesting also. Two minutes, Doctor. Okay, thank you. <coughs> uh, this is nectar preparing uh, with the, the mucilage, and we prepared also the uh, dog egg uh, stabilized by. Cactus beer liquors are in the market. This is from Italy. These are other from Italy, from Italy, and from India, from Mexico. Well, Monica Nazareno showed last day many photographs, and I put only some of them here, and you can see several products and, and others that I showed. And that uh, are not in the market yet. The book covers other topics, such as the use of cactus fats for biofuel and carbonic acid production, and through also the cactus development in several countries. Uh, I will mention uh, the, and thanks really the, the help I received from many researchers of the, of the country that uh, has uh, cactus beer. And from here, from Morocco, I, I received a lot of help from Dr. Aida Moon. I thank him for her help. And to end, I want to thank especially some research of our group, Elena Sepulveda, that is here with us, Carmen Prieto, my Andre Brigley, and my teacher and PhD students, the researchers of other factories I mentioned, and without their valuable contribution, this result would not have been gained. Many technologies and different products uh, really under the forums. Thank you.